We're here with David Young. He's the author of a brand new book, The Political Spectrum. What was your interest that started this whole thing? Because I was confused about the political spectrum myself. And when I did the research on it and I looked, found nothing that answered my question. I did more and more research on it. And I got to the point where I was so excited about the information that I did discover. When I was done, I was like, I need to write this in a book. I didn't understand when I heard on the radio or TV, mm -hmm. you hear this political left, you hear this political right. It's always being said that fascism is on the right and communism is on the left. Mussolini, Nazi, anything that's like totalitarian is on the right. Mm -hmm. So if you go too far right, you run into that. Okay. And if you go too far left, you run into communism. So everything seemed to go fit straight in the middle. And it was like, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Um, what about things like freedom, democracy, libertarian? Where do you put those? Do you put libertarian right in the middle? Right. And I looked at it from the viewpoint, well, my independence, and then over here as we go more and more left, it was dependence. Mm -hmm. And then I went, okay, well that's fine, let's stretch that further, and it went from freedom to enslavement. And so I took that scale and I placed every single major political system on right. scale, and I went, okay, now that works. Mm -hmm. Once I did that, suddenly everything else fell into place. Oh, wow. So I was ready to go, oh, look what I found. And I was like, I, I had a four foot by three foot poster that I had scribbled all this stuff on on my computer, uh -huh. and I didn't know what to do with it. So I thought, well, maybe I'll put it into a book. So, and the reason why I wanted to do that was because I felt the information was so important to the American people, especially right now, mm -hmm. with our countries constantly and steadily sliding more and more toward the left toward communism, oh, toward wow. enslavement, in that direction, toward the left. I mean, mm -hmm. we're, we're not near communism, we're sliding into socialism, and that can be seen easily by anybody who looks. I took each political system and I just defined each of those, so when you read about a system, democracy, socialism, fascism, you can read it and go, okay, I understand what those are now. And then you can even look at them and say, well, that's where these would fit on the scale. What's really fascinating to me and why I really want people to read this is because the right deteriorates into a fascism. The right being like people with freedom, people who want freedom. It deteriorates down, down, down until it eventually becomes a fascism. You go, well, how could that possibly be, mm -hmm. right? And what happens is that the left are baiting and badgering the right and they keep making them more and more angry about the stupid things that they're saying and doing. And they get more and more angry and they come down to a point where there's a conflict. Mm -hmm. There's no conflict at first between right. the right and the left because the right's just kind of like, what, are you an idiot? I'm not interested in communism or socialism and yeah. stuff. But then as it slowly drags into those things, the right starts fighting it more and more and more. Mm -hmm. And it gets up to the point where it does sink into a fascism because it's their last ditch effort to keep from sliding into that that type of thing. Greece, their socialism deteriorated and they go right into voting Nazis in the exact same scale. When I look at our society and I know that our country is the last free society, really the maybe the first real free society, um, we can't afford to lose it. And if we don't do it right, our country slides into fascism fighting the left. If we do it right, we move back toward freedom for everybody. That's the key thing for me. What reality do you expect that the person reading it is gonna get from your book? They're gonna get an understanding of the political systems. Mm -hmm. They're gonna get an understanding of how they relate to each other. Mm -hmm. What happens to society as political systems, the culture slides more and more toward the left. Mm -hmm. They're going to be able to see what happens to education systems within each of these societies. They're going to be able to see what happens to the press. It's each of these different points on the spectrum. Uh, the police, you know, what what is the role of police in, you know, in a free society? Yeah. What's the role of police in fascism? What's the role of secret police in communism? You know, every aspect of the culture can be viewed against this scale of freedom to enslavement and as things go down. When people read this, they're going to say, yeah, I see, I've seen that, I've seen that, I've seen that. But now when you put it all together in this scale of freedom to slave mm -hmm. it, you go, wow, that makes perfect sense. Now I understand it. I saw it before. Now I understand it, and now I can do something about it. And doing something about it was the most important part, because when you don't know or you're confused, you can't act. But when you do know, then you can act. You can go, I see the problem. I can handle it. Well, very good. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome.